Um, I was starting to shuffle. I was going to do a read, but I'm watching a court case and doing other things. So just a real quick um, thing. When I pulled these cards, I, I hadn't hit record because I hadn't planned it on doing this for like 30 minutes or so. But when I hit record, I mean, excuse me, when I shuffled um, this card deck and I kind of let a couple of cards come out, the cards that came out was the Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, Star Energy, and the Ten of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Now, if you guys know, I shuffle my card deck a lot before I actually um, start to, um, you know, do the deck or put the cards out or whatever. And so with this happening, these cards came out. So what I see here is that there is a lot of air energy here and there's a star energy. Um, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, with the star energy, you know, that basically to me, somebody is trying to be optimistic or trying to, if you look at the cards to me, there was some type of clarity in regards to somebody going through anxiety. And at the same time, you looking, uh, dealing with the person that maybe put you through anxiety, you're still trying to manifest star energy, you know, you're still trying to be optimistic in regards to how you put that energy or have faith in regards to why this person felt the need to stab you in the back, if that makes sense. And then at the bottom of the deck, it's the two of swords. You have to see if you can trust in yourself or trust in this individual because you have clarity on how it was or how it is um, when you dealt with this person. You know, this is, uh, to me, what, you know how they say, uh, this is the definition of this. Well, this is the definition of what I say, sin and strength and healing or, um, you know, uh, sin and strength and healing period to a person, place, thing or situation who made you feel some type of way. And this is what the universe is telling you. You have to trust in the universe and trust in yourself in order to send strength and healing to somebody who is going through it because you have had to remove your energy from them. I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle, but I just believe that this is something that somebody needed to hear. And that is what the definition of sending strength and healing is. Yeah. And not having ego and pride because at some point the person that you were dealing with could be air energy um, here, but the person that you were dealing with, hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. The person that you were dealing with, um, had an ego problem, had uh, some type of issues when it came to how they did things or why they wanted to see. Again, it's air energy star here. So yeah, to me, and that's the reason why I say you've been dealing with an air sign. Now they're holding on and obsessing and spying on you because you've removed your energy. Um, based upon why they stabbed you in the back, it's not for you to determine. It's for you to trust in the universe on why you had to go through that because at some point, um, they're going to understand where you were when you were clinging and holding on to what you saw as potential. And that is why the ego card comes out, if that makes sense. So um, their pride and ego is being put to the test because of the fact that they put you through the test. And I don't believe, I'm not going to say I don't believe in karma. If that is to happen, that has nothing to do. It's not in your hands. It's nothing you can do about that. But their ego and pride when it comes to, how they've dealt with you or how they've treated you in the past is basically why you feel the way you do, but you're still optimistic in regards to this. Yeah. The lover's energy card of Gemini. So they're reflecting, that's crazy. They're reflecting on how they did you or looking in the reflection based upon how their ego and pride was being put to the, or how they put your ego and pride. Yeah. And so the consequences of their actions, remember, I'm not saying karma. I'm saying that you sent strength and healing to them. Um, and the healing has to do with them reflecting on your strengths, you know, because at the same time, um, you know, this is strength when you are trapped um, and nobody comes to your rescue, if that makes sense. And so uh, strength isn't always physical, you know, so when it comes to the eight of wands energy, now they're overthinking or you have been overthinking in regards to why this energy couldn't balance out the scales. And again, this is things you're doing things on paper and they're using the sword, which is, again, arrogance and ego. When, you know, the scales could be balanced, uh, your knowledge is stronger than their sword, if that makes sense. And so that's how I see that you always rescue them based upon their adversity and their arrogance and stubbornness um, and their ego. And basically, when it comes to the eight of wands, now they're overthinking about 
what they did to you and they're holding on and obsessing and spying on you if that makes sense higher fin energy yeah so they have to change their belief system they have to unlearn to relearn basically of what they were and what they were in the past and why you felt the need to have to walk away from this person place thing or situation if that makes sense i'll go ahead and pull from let's see i'll pull from the situation deck to see what comes out but yeah you had to um do things and deal with things in a certain perspective or in a certain light and sometimes it's hard when you are dealing with so much yep crickets yeah silence you had to pull your energy back and let them reflect on how they did because again you have the receipts you have the proof on what they did and why they did it but you know you weren't there to you know the proof is in the papers you know what i mean the proof is in what they did and so again you had to take it up running and avoiding because that's what they did you know so again your their arrogance caused for you to have a pause to send them a pause like mason um cameron says on their new show yeah and this could be because they were childish so not only were they moving too fast they were childish and now they're going to confess or be on the verge of confess confessing because they're about to explode they're holding on to you they're obsessing over you and they've been spying on you and now they're about to explode based upon their pride and arrogance and them being stubborn and now them having to change their belief system because they want to talk to you hmm, if that makes sense so i'm going to pull from the archetype deck and then I think I'm going to pull, I don't know if this is in the shadows or not, but I'm going to pull from, this is an archetype deck, but the other deck I'm going to pull from is Twin Flame Soulmate. And um, I think it's Twin Flame Soulmate and something else. Anyway, yeah, they're a workaholic. They only cared about money at the end of the day. And yeah, look, good on paper. Um, good, good on paper. So again, the paper is here. The knife is here. This good on paper, it says may seem good, but not good in reality checks the traditional boxes settles settles for good good enough and so that is where the difference is you really were good on paper and they used ego and ice queen yeah now they're now and and they were cold arrogant and cold and it says love has to make sense too uh level-headed hold on one second too level-headed hold on this is my aunt Okay, that was my auntie. But anyway, so they want to talk. They realize the things that they did. And so it all comes together that they didn't recognize your strengths and what you did in order to, even though you had receipts and they were running and tracing. Um, and even though, you know, they may have looked good on paper, but they weren't. And they didn't think you looked good on paper or you didn't look like them in reality. But based upon you now are being cold, they're ready to explode because they're not used to the silent action from you. They're used to you actually getting through uh, or going through and, and trying to figure out. And that's what they're doing now. They're used to. So the roles have reversed, if that makes sense. And so they're used to you studying and trying to make things happen. Oh, well, I'm going to say it. Studying and being the fool while they were being defensive over Seven of Wands energy, over the stuff that you were trying to say to them. Um, again, look, the Ace of Swords sold his face. And now they have clarity that being an emperor and wielding a sword, right? And wielding a sword is not the same as having a family, a loving family and good energy around you. Boom. So look at this. Now they have to make a decision. <laughs> two of cups energy, two of pentacles. I'm sorry. They have to make a decision. It's been two years that you've kind of removed your energy about you queen of cups energy right somebody who is empathetic and can manifest things again back to where's the oh that was the other card where it says the star energy where you see the bubbles in the cup well you would always in the younger life i say two of pentacles shows his face you were always manifesting good energy for this king of pentacles type energy somebody with money somebody that had nice things somebody that had pride and ego because again they look good on paper but in actuality you knew that they had been cut by the same reasons that they got up or got were able to have all the things that they want king of pentacles energy right and so therefore when it comes to um them not wanting to take risk with you but taking it with everything else right consequences of their actions king of pentacles says um 
And I have this thing up here that when I was learning tarot, it made sense to me. The King of Pentacles is a love, uh, is there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. Well, they did that when it came to looking the part, the swords, but and being good on paper, but mentally not being good, if that makes sense. And so therefore, you have to be able to just they're they're trying to get you to discern, but you're in your Drake energy. You only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. King Knight of Wands energy. And therefore, the back to King of Swords energy. Remember, air energy showed his face. You are the cold person like they were. So the tables have turned. Tables turn, bridges burn. Drake's energy, right? Tables turn, bridges burn. And so that is why you are defensive because you, you know, again, this person, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend. Every man is your teacher, man or woman, taught you the same thing, the code. Love has to make sense. Too level-headed, too easily to fall in love. So everything has to make sense to you. You have to be, you know, because love comes to you easy. I mean, no, love you give love easily and no, you're not around a lot of things to where you're loving everyone, but everybody that comes in your life, queen of pentacles, energy, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them. No matter what that, no matter what made you so loving to where now you're protecting your energy, you're setting boundaries. And now it comes to a point to where never puts up with anyone's bullshit you're in your queen of swords energy and that is what you had to learn you had to unlearn to relearn and that was the reflection but your silence is showing a lot the ice queen the king of swords you know non-action you're not taking action you have the receipts on why because of their actions in the past their childish actions and their ego in the past so they're just trying to figure it out and maybe they're working hard you know, because at one point they had their cake and eat it too. And the ten of, ten of cups that showed his face at the bottom of the deck is letting them know that it's not about the pinnacles. It's about the family. And so they're sending me pictures of my grandbaby. So that is kind of how I see that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Intuit Tarot um, to see what comes out when it comes to your energy. Um, yeah, because I just believe that, you know, the tables turn. Yeah, I just believe that now the tables have turned. So, again, uh, pulling from the into a tarot deck uh, to see what energy comes out with this. You know, the thing is, is that you've done everything. You've done your best. You have magician, resourceful creator. So, you know, it took willpower to be able to deal with, be patient, and also, um, yeah, queen of wands. Be that same charming, confident, courageous, energetic person uh, who is loving and um, is a visionary and very, you know, strong and, and you know, just a trendsetter. It took, a, it took a lot to do that. But again, you had to be the high priestess and keep it all in <laughs> and keep it all in. So that's what you had to do when it came. Okay, I think I, I hit the, um, what is it called? The mute button on accident. But anyway, um, you had to keep it all in, even though, and I was saying that's crazy how it works, because no matter what you went through, you had to keep it in the dark, keep keep missing information, isolation, secrets, and suppressed intuition, withholdings, and disconnected. You had to be all of that, and that's why this read came out the way it did, and you're reflecting on that, because nothing that you did was not wrong, but you obsessed, and you were dealing with the person that was cold, their ego was, uh, was, was you know, all, it was all about material things. It was childish. It was them being the runner chaser type energy. And you had to keep it all in, but still support them. Ace of Wands energy when it comes to needing an outlet. You had nothing bubbling under the surface. You had nothing. You had nothing, no, no type of support. And bubbling under the surface, this is what's happening now. Pressure cook. Now the tables have turned again, like I said, ready to explode in, in a rage because you're cold. You know, lack of direction, many ideas, you know, emerging ideas and inception. You had to keep it all under wraps because, again, Eight of Wands energy. Yeah, overthinking. But this is, you know, in the reverse. Um, it's lack of focus, lost momentum, energy block, on hold, delays, stall, uh, take time to align. And that's what you did when you, higher friend energy, unlearned to relearn, went into hermit mode, right? You went into hermit mode, basically, and you had to change your belief systems on what it is and why you felt the way you did. But uh, keeping it, um, what does it say? Keep it, keeping it all in, 
you suppressed all of your intuition, everything. So you had to come back out and be that confident queen of wands energy. Confidence shines on the inside when you love yourself on your flaws and rock them without caring what others think. And that's a part of you having willpower and being able to um, manifest the things that you want and take inspired actions, right? And um, be resourceful when it comes to why you went silent. And now the tables have turned. They're ready to explode when you were feeling that way and trying to make things work and be the best that you could be. And their ego was involved and they thought money was everything when they realized that your knowledge was better than their sword. And that's justice energy, right? And so all that being said, now, you know, they're not able to focus. They're ready to explode. They're holding on and spying on you. And they feel like you've been cold, but never put up with anyone else's bullshit. That is how you feel now, if that makes sense. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead. Um, uh, let me see. I'll pull. I can't think of this, but it's the all things intuitive card deck. Um, going to go ahead and pull from here and see what comes out in regards to uh, energy of being away from your person or how they feel, you know. I hid who I really am from you. So again, the loving, kind person that you saw from the beginning, that is. And you did the same thing because people don't know when it comes to a cancer that you're a Sour Patch kid. You're good until you're not. And then once somebody plays with your and take plays with you and takes your kindness for a weakness, then you become that cold person. So you probably hid who you were from them too. I feel you leaving me behind. I think, yeah. So, yeah, you're leaving them behind. And it says, I hid behind, look, I hid behind material things, like I said. So this is what they thought was everything, their sword, their coin, and not your, you know, not your knowledge. And now they're reflecting that it's not. I mean, I can't make that up. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see if I want to pull from this deck. Let me see if I can find the other one. I'm just glancing at it. But I'll pull from here which is a twin flame karmic partner and soulmate deck pulling, pulling you up. Yeah. Pulling you up. Yeah. You didn't have anybody to pull you up, but here, let's read this. It says blocked. Your connection is blocked either by a third party or someone outside, some outside influences. Shift your focus on yourself and release them for now. This is karmic twin flame energy. And that's what you did. <laughs> that's what you did. Pulling you up. It says you will encourage each other in every little aspect of life, pulling one another out of self-doubt and dark times, a shelter from the torments of life. And that's what you did. And now that's what you're not doing. And there's the awakening of fears. It says your worst fears are being awakened, such as rejection, abandonment, loss, or commitment issues, and bringing out all the skeletons hiding in your closet. Yep. And that's why, because the childhood trauma that you went, that they went through, uh, or you went through, and the reason why you felt the need to be the queen of, um, pinnacles to them um, because of the lack that you had or the love that you have received, or maybe that's just who you are, which I believe is just who you are, but it was something that you wanted to be everything to a person, place, thing, or situation. And now here it is. They have to see your side, your cold side, the person that you can be. So you did hide um, who you were from them, that cold side, because you give your all to people like the queen of pinnacles and also the Queen of Cups energy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Four Agreements, if you want to know my perspective of the Four Agreements, and also the Crystal Deck with the Chakras. Uh, click the link above the card that comes out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, be impeccable with your words. This is the difference from where you were in the beginning to where you are now. Create a beautiful dream. You didn't say what you want or say what you meant. You just went with the flow. And respectfully, it's fine until it's not, right? Your word, uh, your word can create the most beautiful dream or your word can destroy everything around you. Impeccability of the word only creates beauty, love and heaven on earth. And so that is what it created for you, either beauty, love or heaven on earth. But and it also can be a lot of other different emotions, uh, negative emotions, too. So you have to understand that you have to be your everything first. You have to be honest with yourself and then therefore you can be honest with everyone else. But everybody else moving forward again never puts up with anyone bullshit. And so that's where you are when it comes to this situation. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to let this energy go. All of these cards came out. I really hate to take all of them. Okay. 
you hear that all of the cards fell down that means that you need to really focus on your chakras if you ask me i'm not picking up those cards but that's all the chakras you need to really go back and and talk about the sh uh, listen to my video up above about all the chakras and um yeah because that means that the universe is telling you you need to really focus on your chakras and your feelings so the galena is the root chakra detoxifying grounding and centering the affirmation says i am unlimited I am unlimited, unlimited. The green calcite, which is right here. Can you see it? Um, it says heart chakras. Um, it's emotional balance, healing, and release. Healing is here already. I find pleasure in the simple joys of life. And that's what you did. So again, you did kind of hide the things that you want because you went with the flow, but it's fine. The bloodstone, I have it just on my desk, my desk behind me. Heart, solar, sacral, and root chakra. Detoxifying, grounding, and healing. It says, I live in the present moment. That's the only way to be in the present moment, not being worried about the past, which causes fear and the future, worrying about the future, which causes anxiety. The next one is the rainforest rhyolite, third eye and heart chakra, spiritual contact, protection and strength. It says, love and joy permeate every cell of my body. Love and joy permeates every cell of my body. With this being said, no, you're not happy because you have to pull your energy back, but you're doing this for a reason. And it's not to be facetious. It's because you your boundaries mean more, but you should have said it I'm in the, in the beginning, but what should have, would have, could have, but didn't. And now you learn it from your past. The throat and the third eye chakra is the blue toe pass, con contentment, relaxation, and truth. It says, I am content in the knowledge that I am protected by the universe. I am content in the knowledge that I am protected by the universe. And remember, you're still manifesting things for this person that you have not been in contact with because of the fact that you don't want any ill uh, or harm uh, to this person or even the karma, the pain that they have to go through in order to feel this way. You don't like that either. But, you know, hey, sometimes people have to go through things. The root chakra is petrified wood. It's transformation, grounding, and support. It says, I embrace transformation. And that's what you have to embrace. You know, you have to embrace that you had no outlet and why you have to unlearn to relearn and really reflect on why you're silent and why you have nobody to pull you up. So therefore, it's a it's a constant pain for you to to be tired of helping people and not saying that you want this the same thing you do to be reciprocated. What you want is some type of support mentally, physically, spiritually or and really truthfully emotional support because everything else you are able to manifest and so you're manifesting these things for yourself the moonstone which is our one of our birth zones it's crown third eye and sacral goddess energy inspiration and intuition it says i allow myself inner I, I allow my true listen my true inner self to shine through and that's because like i said i hid who i really am for from you and that is because you were afraid somebody wasn't going to accept you for the quirky person that you are, the way that you love, the things that you love, and the way you want to be loved. So there you have it. You're not doing that moving forward, and that's why you're ice cold until you really realize who has your best interest. But that's the Hierophant energy, unlearning to relearn. If you really want to know about the four agreements and the fifth agreement, the one through four, in order to get through one through four and master the fifth, you have to get through the one through four. And so, um, again, the links are up there. The Four Agreements is this book that's here. That's a little small version of it, but it's by Don Miguel Ruiz, and it's a really good book. Also, Melody Beattie, Codependent No More. And, um, yeah, uh, she has another book. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn-out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.